Here we go. This is a $400 box of cards. No fucking way. Yeah. I have bought a box of 2023 Leaf Metal Pop Century cards. And the reason is these are an essentially random array of people. The thing that sold me on buying these was watching an opening and seeing a woman open up a pack of cards and opening up an Anthony Hopkins swatch, which I had to clarify because I thought there's no way that could possibly be what I think it is. But it was indeed a card that had embedded in it a swatch of a shirt that Anthony Hopkins had once worn. What are the rare cards worth? I think that uh, someone was saying like, the, on the one we were watching, some guy opened up like a one of one Clint Eastwood and he was like, oh, this is worth thousands of dollars. And I was like, why? Why and to who? Everybody, please welcome to the stream, uh, Demi! Yeah. So I think this is going to be the box we start with. Okay. We then have some pop culture stuff, but I think that this is a great, very strange place to start. This is the Washington Chronicles yeah. from the 2022 Historic Autograph and Card Company. Six 10 card packs. Historic site dirt relic. One in 29. That's right. So we have a one in 2.9 chance of getting a card with some dirt on it. Mm. A written word card. That's one a in card with a word. Here we have the unboxing experience. It's unboxed. Oh my god, these are so badly yeah, graphic really designed. Bad. This Can looks like show? I did it. Check this out. Washington Chronicles. Ten cards from the Historic Autograph and Card Company. The first card we've got, we have... Letter Writing by Washington. Boy oh boy, I am glad that we invented actually writing on, like, computer. We have ourselves a bunch of dogs for some reason. These are Washington's dogs. Yeah. He gave them affectionate names such as Captain, Duchess, Drunkard, Sweet Lips. Oh, I love money. True Love. I'm worried about my husband after he named a dog True Love. And Sweet Lips. Oh. I'm going for a walk with True Love and Sweet Lips. I may be some time. Don't wait up. All right. Next up when we have... When do I get to touch the cards? Well, maybe on a next pack. That makes sense. Mm. All right, we have Timothy Pickering. Next. Wait, can I see him? We have a great seal of the United States. Wow. <laughs> don't, come on. <laughs> don't, don't do that to... Uh, Timothy, Timothy Pickering. Pickering. Here we have... A oh, a rookie card of Washington's death. Mm -hmm. And the final card for this pack, a foil! Oh! We have a foil Washington's dogs! It's the pull of the stream, mm -hmm. my love, my mm. love. Mm. Oh, oh, my guy, unless he did something bad, Nathaniel Green. I don't think anyone did anything bad until like the 50s. So I yeah. think Nathaniel Green will be a-okay. <laughs> Welcome, tapophobia. The phobia of being buried alive. What? Washington, a famous tapophobe. <gasps> there he is in there. Wait, that's card 186. Mm. Card 187 was him dying. Mm. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, that one stays on cam. Yeah. And um. final card for this one. What the fuck is this? Okay, so uh, so his dog, Madam Moose, used to get really horny, so they needed to get a fuck dog to come and fuck we Madam Moose. We brought a dog in to fuck our dog. Yeah. The Mike, he's got a Shaw M98. He was so ahead of his fucking time. And we have our first non-foil special card, Demi. I haven't looked at it yet. <gasps> we have... Dirt! Dirt from the battlefield of Pauli. Congratulations! You have just received an authentic dirt relic from Paoli just off the historic park grounds. Yeah, and it became known as the Paoli Massacre, apparently, at the end there. So. Yep, 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 yep. And we have some dirt from there now. Show this one really quickly, and then we can get on with our lives. Washington Slet... Mm. Okay. 
Then he purchased at least 71 more slaves. Damn. Two of his favorites escaped. Oh, why? They were his favorites. Mm. I wonder if they do that in foil. Ice cream. No! George Washington regularly served ice cream to visitors at his home and offices. Although different in recipe to today, cream, milk, sugar, ice, and salt were required to make it, and these items were difficult to come by in the 18th century. As was the time needed to crank the maker. <laughs> Don't crank the I maker. I love cranking my maker. I'm, oh, I'm gonna make. <laughs> now that was a $42 box of cards, Demi. Okay, That's the cheapest make, box of cards we have. We can make 96 cents back off of that though. Yeah, a minimum. Next up, we have Panini Americana 2015. Yeah. These ones I'm really fucking excited for. Yeah. First off, we're starting off with a Kelly Rowland. <laughs> it's a basic card, not worth anything, but God, that's beautiful. Uh, Jaleel White? Yep, he's good. And next up we have, and Demi, this is the first non-plain card of the stream Ooh. for the Panini Americanas. A foil oh! Al Pacino! Oh, yeah. Oh, say hello. I'm your friend. Yes. This is worth nothing because it's not signature, but damn, it feels good to be holding a foil red Al Pacino in my hands. Whoever this guy is. Oh, these are the winner's circle cards, Demi. Yeah. This is a Panini Americana 2015 insert. These are... These are cards that celebrate the figures of horse racing. <laughs> Mike Smith has the most wins in the Breeders' Cup history. Here we have, that is not what Mickey Rourke looks like now. The pictures on the front of the packs look like the Madame Tussauds yeah, they statues have a, of. They have an incredible unreality about them. Oh my God, I just got <gasps> a peek. Now these are basic cards, mm -hmm. but I just got a peek at two of the basic cards in here. And they are, they, they, are, are, they are going to be cherished is, possessions. One of them is, I only saw one. One of them is a big interest of ours. Yeah. I'll watch any dog shit movie this cunt's in as long as I don't have to pay money for it. All right, next up. Got James L. Jones. Hell yes. And I've got DJ Jazzy Jeff. Nice. A cherished possession. Here we've got Pete Holmes. <laughs> Come on. Demi, you can't say that. <gasps> Oh, oh my god, we both have Laura Dern. Laura Dern. <laughs> god damn it, they did not do a good shuffle on this one, gang. <laughs> I really like the Laura Dern card. That yeah, is a good too. card to me. Hey. And Leia Michelle. Glee. Glee. Leia Glee. Michelle. I've got one here that is another special edition. I'm getting lucky here, Demi. Mm. I have the Star Materials, a... <laughs> Piece of fabric that was worn or touched by actor Lillian Gish. Who's that? Lillian Gish was one of the most successful stars of the silent era. Uh huh. Her roles in The Birth of a. The Birth of a <laughs> Nation! Let's put that with our racism cards. Where are the slaves? <laughs> Next up, I have... Oh, my God. They're all so stuck together. I know. And Shannon Elizabeth. And then I got another one. A foil Rutina Wesley. Oh, her. Yep. We got Rutina Wesley from such classics as... How Earth She Moved. Nation. And she's in True Blood. All right. Hey! Chris Jericho! I know you! Hello! I mean, Your hair looks like shit! Entertainer is selling him short. Mm -hmm. and oh, and selling one. him Martin short! Hey! Well, that's a... God, he looks nice. Yeah. Doesn't um, he look pleasant? All right. Vanilla Ice. And I've got a musician of my own, Cody Simpson. And they look like kind of they could be the same person, but in two different movies, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have a foil... You're shitting me. Another Rutina Wesley. Come on. I'll put that with my... My two foil Rutina Wesleys will be <laughs> inherited by my family upon my death. Patty, Patty Stanger. <laughs> Patty Stanger. He's no Stanger to me. One other new one. Slate Smiley. Slate Slimy. Mm-hmm. Then... Look at that. Oh, I've got him too! Steve Sherpa from The Sopranos. 
And also, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. also from The Sopranos. Yeah! We that, got Tony Sirico. That is treasured to me. Yeah, that's absolutely got sentimental value. We're going to put that aside. Hey, that's how he points. It counts. Hello. Shiny lady. Oh, we got a foil Shannon Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. And uh, some fucking smooth-faced freak. <laughs> <laughs> then we got Julio. <gasps> wow, look at that. And that is... Nothing different about that card except nope. for the fact that it looks a bit different. Looks a bit different, but and isn't. And is commemorating Gangster's Paradise. <gasps> oh dear. Tom is wearing a wig. I am. We are. Oh my god, your head is so small. I know. Wow. Waiting until the camera is turned back on to pick the nose is an interesting choice. Yeah. I guess you have to go around the ring, so it's quite hard to get snots out of there. Exactly. Yeah. We got another DJ Jazzy Jeff ripping it out off for me. We got another Winner's Circle card, a combo featuring Todd Pleitcher and Calvin Burrell. I think this was the same one I got last time. Yes, I believe we are at doubles of the running of the Winner's Circle cards, which again commemorate achievements in horse racing in America. Cody Simpson, the musician. Cool. What you got there, Dembo? I've got uh, Patty Stanger. Oh, that's Shiny fantastic. Either. And Sneal? Wonderful. Uh, you might be right, Curly. Nobody bought the horse racing cards, so they had to throw them in other packs. And here we have the final two packs of cards. Oh, please. Demi, I have, and this is not signatured, or not signed or anything, no autograph, but it is a dual Screen Legends Mickey Rooney Jimmy Stewart card. I fucking hate Jimmy Stewart. He's oh, the one that. I whoa, 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 Demi, why do you hate me? Uh oh, why do you think I'm annoying? Whoa, well, something like plus my voice. Jordana Brewster and Roger Moore. No hits in my final pack, Demi. We're returning to the historic autographs pile, gang. The famous Americans. These are quite a gorgeous type of pack. Ten cards each in these historic autographs, famous Americans cards. Is there a chance to get, like, scraps of people's fucking tunic or whatever in these, or...? Yes, these are the selection of... Like, we're not going to get these because they're very rare, but you've got uh, some autographs there. And there, the historic DNA card is clearly showing that this is a card that they printed that has strands of hair from two separate horses. Let's kick this off. <laughs> Hi, Ralph, bud. Oh, Ralph. Oh, my God. The... Inspire. Are they all going to be like this with the word inspire over them? I guess so. Oh, mine says historic. And we got Zane Gray. <laughs> uh, got uh, Henry, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Oh, fantastic. My Longfellow has a Wadsworth in it. Coming up next for me, I've got Joseph Campbell and a picture of the Joseph Campbell Preserve Company, Canners and Preservers. So I guess we didn't have a picture of the man himself. We got Grandma Moses. I will need to see the back of Grandma Moses' She's, card. So uh, she took up painting as a vocation in her 70s. Her sentimental, old-timey subjects and colourful, whimsical style made her popular almost immediately. Demi, I have the first hit of the box. This is an authentic 35mm film clip. Mm -hmm. This is in the Famous Americans mm. Historic Autographs and Signature box. Mm -hmm. I can safely say that not in a million years would you guess the film that this is featuring. It is the Pixar logo from Monsters, <gasps> Inc. That's huge for me. We'll put it in the pride pile. Yes. Susan B. Anthony, she sure do. Thomas Watson, Jr. Oh, senior, of course. Looking at him, there's no way that can be a junior. That is a self-made industrialist and the chairman and CEO from of IBM from 1914 to 1956. Watson's relationship with Nazi Germany were problematic. For I who? For who? For which side? IBM supplied the census punch cards used by the Nazis to track Jews. Okay. Yes, Demi? <gasps> Another authentic 35mm film clip. And this one, yeah. I actually think is cool. Supporting cast from Lord of the Rings Two Towers. You are shitting me. May I angle this so that we can mm -hmm. see? It is. Yep. Very hard to tell. Yes. I got a Walt Whitman. <laughs> yep. And and this is not a hit. Okay. But it is a particularly hideous card. Oh. Kenneth G. Wilson. <laughs> it looks weird. He looks, I don't know, maybe his dad was a textbook. One more for me. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
John F. Kennedy. Whoa! I mean, that guy's famous. Uh-huh. Got Robert Lee Frost. Couldn't look up for the photo, I guess. Mm. Fell asleep. What do you reckon the odds are that that's actually a corpse? I was actually thinking that. Mm. Diamond Jim Fisk. Gotta say, this is probably a 200 by 400 that pixel. Is fucking terrible! Don't print the card. I got King Camp Gillette. Oh, did he invent the uh, Gillette razor? King Camp Gillette created the best selling version of the safety razor. Yup. Well, there you go. Yup. Ooh! Okay. We've got one that to... I'm very excited about. Do... Lizzie Borden! That's our first murderer, I think. Like, famous murderer for murdering. Yo! Damn, get some access in the chat for our buddy Lizzie. <laughs> Meme Shot says, I can fix her. <laughs> now, the reason we have these cards, by the way... Guitarman. Les Paul mm -hmm. is uh, because I got... I saw a guy opening these and saw him opening up a pack that had um, Typhoid Mary in it. Yeah. And it's just a picture of Typhoid Mary and then underneath the words, Typhoid Mary. <laughs> and I Famous was... woman. <laughs> I was immediately obsessed. Do the wolf hopper. Hey, cool. I jump over them dogs. Marshall Field. Bell Boyd again. Okay. And all oh, authentic 35 <gasps> millimeter film clip. What's it gonna be? Alright, let's see. Do you wanna have a reveal? Do you wanna check and see whether it's I'm good or stupid? See. <gasps> Is it good? No, it's not. You're pretending. Let's go! Let's go, chat. We got an authentic 35mm film clip of Adam Sandler in The Wedding Singer. This is only printed, only 150 of these exist. I think we actually have one that is that might be something in my pack. Really? Yeah. Historic DNA. Oh my god. Eisenhower and Nixon. No! An authentic hair sample of Richard Nixon? Yep. And Dwight Eisenhower. It kind of—it's funny because it kind of looks like their their title is is authentic hair sample. I'm actually gonna get a sleeve. Yeah. <laughs> authentic strands of hair from Dwight Eisenhower and Richard Nixon. The hair was obtained. Oh my god! From the collection of Stephen Martini, presidential barber. Do they know that the barber keeps a collection of the hair? <laughs> Historic autographs guarantees the chain of custody of each strand from the Martini collection to this card. I cannot believe that is the stupidest thing yeah. that's ever happened on stream. That's so fucking dumb. Do we have any more? Yeah, I just need a second. Yeah. All right. Now, did either of these guys ever do anything wrong? Uh, don't worry about that. Okay. okay. I like James Henry Breasted. Ooh, that's a cool name for mm -hmm. one. Thomas Nelson Page in a foil treatment, kind of a sparkly confetti foil on Thomas Nelson Page. Cool now. guy, didn't like slavery. How uh, many more uh, packs do we have? That's it for the for historical all of the... cards. Oh, right. Do we, do we have other cards? This is the start of the entire stream for me. Because this, I saw that this was a... $400 box of cards. And I thought to myself, well, that'll have enough cards in it for me to spend an entire stream opening just that box. It is four cards. Yep. The reason I became obsessed with these cards is because Stefan linked me a video of a guy opening them and he opened a, a, sh a card that had a piece of fabric on it that had been worn by Anthony Hopkins. And that, to me, was intoxicating to imagine happening to me. Here we go. This is a $400 box of cards. No fucking way. Yeah. Guy liked his shirts. I swear to God, this was not... Does it say something under there? Hold on. Let me look. I don't want... Uh, uh, uh. I've received a memorabilia card from Leaf Trading Cards. It is a piece of authentic wardrobe worn by Anthony Hopkins. A small, small, tiny, small, small patch of fabric that was worn by Anthony Hopkins. That is fucked. Yeah. Next card. Yep. 
We have assigned Lou Ferrigno, the Incredible Hulk himself. To me, that is cool. All right. And I hate that. Next. Joe Pistone. <laughs> Joe has that face that lets you know, I know I shouldn't be here. <laughs> who, who are you? <laughs> I will say. It sucks because the ones that are signed, they're like, you know who this guy is, right? That, that is the attitude they have with all of these. And often you do not know who the person is. Well, exactly. Is. That's what I'm saying. Like, Pistone I don't was know. an FBI agent for 17 years? No, you're shitting me. He's a former... He's a... I have a signed fucking former FBI agent here? All right, we're this ready? Is good. This is the last card. All right, here we go. Wow. <laughs> a perfectly cast Clint Eastwood... Pop Century. How many cops and racists have we had in these cards? I do not know. Holy shit, this is a one of one. Damn. Demi, I don't like saying this. I really don't like saying this. We could sell it. This is a huge pull. Yeah. I really dislike saying that. Where's my drill? Don't. Demi... I really fucking hate saying this. Mm -hmm. I think this is worth the price of the box. Yeah, I knew as soon as I saw it. How much is this it This is going? what someone sold a different one of one Clint uh, for. Previously, this was sold for... 1500 US. How can it be a one of one if it's if somebody sold like one? I don't like thinking about that. Well, there's different colors. Oh. You want to sell it? Or do you want to keep it? I don't care about the guy. I don't care about him either. Let's sell it. This isn't supposed to happen. We could buy something really cool with this. Yeah. Let's use it to go business class when we go to Vancouver. How did we fucking make money off this? I don't know. Also, we can't go business class with this. This would be that'd be like eight times as much. Oh well. Libby has said, and I think that's right, we should keep it and wait till he dies. Ooh. Because it's gotta be right around the corner. That's huge. Demi, no, 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 no! Going to have to find somewhere in the house that is safe from both the cat and from Demi. And if I'm being perfectly honest, me too. Because the urge to destroy this, if it was not already in a top loader, would be overwhelming. That was my genuine fear. If I got sent like the Lord of the Rings magic cards, if I opened the one of one, one ring, that I would just compulsively eat it on stream. What a stupid life. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. But then, and this is the complicated thing, it paid off. What a stupid fucking string.